DJ Suss one. We're here with James. James, so tell us a little bit how it felt to get the call to be with part, um, to be part of such an incredible, legendary that raised me franchise yeah. as of Ghostbusters. Raised me as well, and it was, uh, it was, it was. Uh, well, I tell you honestly, I didn't believe it. That I got a text uh, that said, um, "Hey, yo, thanks for coming in to audition," um, and it confirmed what we already knew. You need to be in a Ghostbusters movie. Let's make that happen. That was what the text said. And I went, uh, they've said a Ghostbusters movie, not this one. So I probably haven't got it. That was how negative the comedian, an English comedian thinks. So I literally thought, I don't have the part. They just said, let's make that happen at some other point. And everyone else said to me, you've so clearly got the part from that text message. But I was there thinking, oh, I haven't got it. And I didn't believe it until my agent phoned and said they've offered you the part. What was your initial reaction when you actually told yourself this is real? It was, it was okay, let's, let's spend a, a, a while being merely excited about this mm -hmm. and then let's get, get it together so that you can do a good job. Nice, so now tell us about the character that you play in the movie yeah. and um, how it was, you know, bringing it to life. Yeah, his name's Lars Pinfield. He's an inventor, scientist for the Ghostbusters, works in the lab. Uh, loves ghosts maybe more than he loves people, but has found his people now within the Ghostbusters. Um, bringing it to life was just like, you know, drawing from certain things, like looking at Egon in the original movies, and, uh, but also, you know, remembering how I perform stand-up. You know, I haven't done loads of movies, so they've offered me this for a reason, because it's me and uh, where I come from and my style of performance, to try to fuse those things together and just trying to, you know, respond. There's so many great actors in this movie who are so much more experienced than me. So a lot of the time, if I'm in a scene with them, it's let's, let's listen to them and well, genuinely respond to them. Well, that was the next question. How was the energy working with, like I met Ernie yesterday, his energy was incredibly amazing. How was the energy working with the original Ghostbusters? They're all so welcoming and so reassuring. They make you feel like you belong there. Uh, there's no kind of like, oh, you're one of the new guys. Yeah, it was just something, Ernie was the first person I met um, and it was just instantly, this is someone I could talk to for hours and, um, and just has so, he's just such a giving person. So yeah, it was, a, it was an honor. Real quick, because I know you're a Ghostbusters fan, before even being in the movie, did you get a chance on set to actually wear a proton pack? Did you actually get to hold it? Did you actually, that, that was part of your scene or anything like that? I haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah. There is a moment where I get to wear one, and I've sh showed that photo to too many people wow. at this point. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for being part of such an incredible franchise and keeping the, the life of it alive, man. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you. God bless.